Okay, so I'm in Mastercam. I've drawn my whole breadboard. Um, here it is. And then the next steps are to toolpath it. First thing I do is under properties, I gotta make sure my stock setup is smaller than the actual board I cut. Okay, it's gonna be a toolpath. I'm gonna cut it uh, with the contour. I'm gonna cut the blood groove first. So that's good. I'm gonna select it with the contour. I gotta remember this arrow going around is going counterclockwise. My setting here, I'm gonna cut that blood groove out with a quarter inch ball end mill at a feed rate of maybe 40. Plunge rate a half of that at 20. Save my settings. Older, I just kinda of walk through all these. Because it's the blood groove, I'm actually gonna make this, I'm actually gonna turn this off. And now my bit's going to go down the center of that line. So an eighth will be on one side, an eighth on the other. Um, save those settings. Depth of cut, I don't think I'm going to need it on here. Lead in, lead out, I'm going to turn off. And then in linking parameters, this is my blood groove. All these should be on absolute. And I'm going to go, say, negative 0.15 for the depth of my blood groove. Okay, so there's my first tool path. It's uh, my blood groove. Then my second tool path will be the hole. And a tool path as a contour, selected as a chain. I'm going to go counterclockwise. It closes. Right here, I'm going to use a, a, a quarter inch flat end mill. So a quarter inch flat end mill with a feed rate of 60 and a plunge rate of 30. Hold those settings. Cut parameters. Now I'm going counterclockwise. This is going to be different on all three of my different tool paths. I'm going to go counterclockwise on all of them. On the blood groove, I'm going to turn this off. On the hole, I'm going to keep it on the left. And then on the cutout of the project, I'm going to put it on the right. So I'm doing the hole right now. It's set on the left. Depth of cuts, I need to set this because I'm going all the way through the wood. So I'm going to set that at point 0.2. Lead and lead outs off. And then I set this all to absolute. This is a negative number, the negative thickness of my board. My board here is actually only a half inch because I planed it so much. So I'm going to go negative 0.5. So now I have that tool path. Now my third tool path is the actual cutout of the board. Again, I'm going to go counterclockwise. The whole thing turns yellow. Um, quarter and flat end mill, feed rate 60, plunge rate 30. Again, I'm going counterclockwise, but now I want my bit to be outside of my line into my scrap material. So the blood groove, center line. The hole, left. The actual cutout, right. And that's as my arrow is going counterclockwise. Depth of cuts set at point 0.2, lead in, lead outs off. And again, these linking parameters are all set on depth. This is negative. Because I plane my board down to a half inch, I go negative 0.5. So I have three tool paths here. I could select all of them, verify in an isometric view, fit screen. Let me turn it down a little bit. This only goes in one pass. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so the whole thing's tool pass. Verify looks good. I'll go back to a top view. And then first thing I want to do is go File, Save As. And I'm going to save this under Cutting Board. I'll call it Breadboard Poplar. Uh, I'll save it over it. That's all I'm doing is saving my MCX file. That doesn't bring it to numeric code. The way I bring it to numeric code is I hit G1. This needs to say techno. Takes all this information. I have to save it on the flash drive. In this case, I'm just going to save it on the desktop, but you need to save it on the flash drive. Takes all this information, converts it into numeric code right here. And then now this numeric code is read by the CNC router. So I take the flash drive out to the shop and let's go run it.
Oh, did I forget to record? It said it was recording, didn't it?